It is so good to see all of you. Welcome. And we extend a special welcome to all our friends who are watching from home. So today we're going to talk about a parable, which is a story that Jesus tells. And it's called the parable of the, sometimes we call it the parable of, parable of the prodigal son. Sometimes we call it the parable of the lost son. So to give you a little background, we're going to watch a little video and then we'll talk about it. You need sound, AV, computer. The younger son said, Give me my share of the property and money. So the father divided the property and money between his younger and older son. The younger son went to another country far away. He had lots of fun spending every bit of his money. son's money was gone. He got very hungry. A farmer gave him a job feeding pigs. As the son fed the pigs, he was so hungry. But he ate the pig food. After a while, he realized he had been very foolish. My father's servants have plenty of food. I'm going home. I'll tell my father that I have done wrong and ask him if I can just be a servant. So the young son went home. He was worried that his father wouldn't want him. But his father had been looking for him every day for a long time. When he saw his son, the father ran to meet him. He hugged him, gave him new clothes, and had a party to welcome him home. My son was lost, but now he is found. All right, so I have a little rhyme that helps us remember this story. And I gave you a hint about one of the words in Sunday School opening today, and it's the last one. So we'll see how you do with rhyming words. Are you ready? OK, here we go. A rich man's son gave up his digs. He lost his cash and cared for pigs. That's right. He missed his dad and brother, too. But he did not know what to do. Oh, you are good. So home he went and showed his face. His dad rejoiced and gave him, oh, nice job, gave him grace, great job. So in this story, we can relate to any of the three characters. For instance, maybe we're like the younger son, where we feel like we have all the answers and not a care in the world, and we make some choices that aren't such good choices, and we have to go back to the people we love and say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Okay? Well, that might happen to us. Or maybe we're like the father who just hope that something will happen. Like maybe you have this really great toy that you want for your birthday, and your birthday's coming up, so you're just hoping that you're going to get that toy. And when you get it, how do you feel? Happy, right. You feel happy, just like the father felt happy when his son came home. And then there's the older son, which we don't hear a whole lot about in our video. But the whole time the younger son's away having a great time spending his father's money, that older son is there working hard, taking care of the farm, staying with his father. So kind of like he feels maybe nobody noticed him. Like maybe if you do something special at home and pick up, and maybe mom or dad just don't happen to notice that day. Well, here's the good news. In our story, we are learning that we can start fresh over and over and over again, like a new creation. You see, we all make mistakes. 
right? We all make bad choices now and then. But we can always come back to God and say, I'm sorry. And just like the dad in the story, God welcomes us with open arms, picks us up, and says, I love you, child. I forgive you. So today, when you pull out card five in your story garden, find the bag that goes with card five. And in it, you're going to find a ring. You see, when we read the story from the Bible, it says the father gave him clothes, a ring, and sandals on his feet. So place that ring in your story garden and remember that we are never lost to God. Just as the father gave his son a ring, we are all marked with the sign of the cross at our baptisms. God says, you are my child and I will welcome you no matter what. Pastor is going to share a word of prayer with us. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Welcoming God, your love and forgiveness are always waiting for us, even when we lose our way. Thank you for opening your arms to us and for making us a new creation over and over and over again. Amen.